Hey guys, welcome to episode 4 of my Unity 3D tutorial series. In this tutorial we'll be covering image effects, real-time shadows, and bloom, and flares. So before we do that, in this scene you can see that I'm really fine-tuning my scene. This is just to show you what I do when I go through a scene. So right now we're adding rocks to our scene. And rocks are really important because in nature it's not just these two-dimensional tiled textures. You have some serious depth and depth and that's why it's important to add in these larger stones. And you don't just want to have one stone type and drag it all around. You want to really switch between the different types of rocks. That's super important because if you look at a natural landscape, there's not just one type of rock. They're ev every single one of them is different and unique. So if you add in the same type of rock, it's not going to look natural and people can tell that it's duplicated. So you want to add in each rock and if you do duplicate one, then rotate it and maybe place it a little bit differently so that it looks more natural. And don't forget to scale your rocks up and down just so that they look better. And mesh them together if you have to. You can see right now that I'm bringing in two bigger rocks and adjusting the rotation and meshing them together to look more realistic like a bigger boulder. And then after you're done with your rocks, you want to add in your grass textures and all of that good stuff, but let's wait until we're done with these rocks. Okay, so now that we've started adding in our grass, there are a couple tips that I didn't cover in my last video. First of all, grass doesn't generally grow vertically, and that's to say that it doesn't generally gr grow out of the cliff sides. Vegetation sometimes does, but grass in Unity doesn't look too good if you put it on the side of a cliff. So you want to take your brush and adjust its size and put it in spots where grass would naturally grow. You also want to adjust the size and add some variation if you can, and it just depends on your preference. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm adding an and not adding in a light, sorry, I'm adjusting the color of the light. And since we changed to the Dawn Dust Skybox in our last tutorial, we want to change the color of the light so it really affects the mood of the scene and really corresponds with the type of skybox that we chose. Now I'm going to slow down this, the video right here and we're going to go into our light preferences and change the shadows to soft shadows. And as you can see right here, it really makes a big difference in how your scene looks. You get real-time shadows and that's a really big deal in Unity. Next what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add some bushes to the Detail Meshes tab of our terrain script. Now you can get bushes free off of the Asset Store and they're just any three-dimensional model that you can get. And they're affected by wind and other elements when you put them into the game. So we're just going to add a couple from my models tab. You can get your own or you can use other ones that come with your Unity Terrain packages that I showed you in my earlier tutorials. Now we're just going to add different ones around the scene and you want a couple different ones so that while you're walking around the scene they're going to be different and it's going to look unique and it's going to add more realism to your scene. Next we're going to add a flare to our light. So you're going to go to the flare tab under your light game object and you're going to select sun. And what this does is it adds a bloom effect to the sun or light object when you look at it. And that's just another cool aspect of realism that you would get in real life that you can add to your unity scene. Now we're going to add some image effects to our main camera. So you're going to want to select the main camera child object of your first person controller and go to component and image effects. And there you can add all of these different image effects to your camera that really add an awesome effect to your game. The first one that we're going to add is bloom. And we're also going to want to add an anti-aliasing and color correction, curves and saturation. And then the coolest effect, in my opinion, after that, is sun shafts. Now sun shafts, out of all the effects, probably has the most dramatic impact on your scene. It's like the light is emanating rays down to the main camera. And it just looks really cool once you run your game and get it right. 
But there are a couple of things that you want to adjust on sun shafts to get the best effect. Next we're going to want to change the sun shaft color to a color that is similar to the main light of your scene. Now let's click play and just see how that looks. And it looks really cool. You can see all the image effects taking place and your scene is really starting to come together. But that's not all we're going to do. The sun shafts are pretty overwhelming, so we're going to drag our directional light game object into the sun transform slot in our sun shaft script. And that will adjust the area where the sun shafts are coming from. But the problem is that the sun shafts come from an area in three-dimensional space, not just the rotation of your light. So you're going to want to move your light maybe down a little bit if you're doing a sunset scene. And that will adjust the position that the sun shafts are emanating from. Now if you have Unity Pro and you don't know how to import the image effects, then you're going to want to go to Assets, Import Package, and then select Image Effects Unity Pro. And next we're just going to play our game and see how it looks. And honestly, I think it looks pretty dang good. Now guys, I'd just like to take this time to thank you for watching my videos and honestly I think it's kinda cool that I can say hey I'm gonna make a tutorial and then people like you will actually come out and watch them and that just means a lot to me and I just can't thank you guys enough and I really hope that I can succeed on YouTube and keep making these tutorials and I'd just like to thank you guys and until next time have a good one